The ankle can be examined while the patient is seated. If you didn't see the patient walk into the exam room, observe the patient walking, but only if you're sure there is no serious injury that can be aggravated or complicated by weight bearing. Important landmarks in the ankle include the medial malleolus, lateral malleolus, and joint line, with the talus distally and the anterior tibiofibular syndesmosis proximally, the lateral fibular ligaments, as well as the medial deltoid ligament. Also, the tendons of the extensor hallucis longus, which extends the great toe, and extensor digitorum longus, which extends the other toes. Inspect the ankle for deformities, swelling, skin discoloration, muscle atrophy, and, compared with the opposite side, asymmetry. Also inspect the lower leg muscles for atrophy. Gently feel the ankle for warmth and to detect subtle swelling. Compare your findings to the unaffected side if necessary. Check the dorsalis pedis pulses over the anterior foot and the posterior tibial pulses behind the medial malleolus. Test sensation to light touch, at least on the top of the first web space and the side of the foot. Then palpate for tenderness first over the bones and then the major ligaments. Touching only the bone and only the ligament can help distinguish bony from ligamentous injury. Begin over the tip of the lateral malleolus and palpate up the fibula. Then palpate the three lateral ligaments, anterior talofibular, posterior talofibular, and fibulocalcaneal. Because an inversion injury to the ankle can fracture the proximal fibula, palpate the proximal fibula. Also palpate the base of the fifth metatarsal and the navicular bone. If ankle swelling is severe and egg-shaped after an injury, palpate the dome of the talus. Now palpate the tip of the medial malleolus and work your way up the tibia. Then palpate the deltoid ligament complex. Test passive range of ankle motion in dorsiflexion, plantar flexion, eversion while securing the heel, and inversion by rotating the heel inward. Test active range of ankle motion in dorsiflexion, plantar flexion, and eversion. If patient symptoms permit, do provocative testing for damage to ligaments and tendons. To check for instability after ankle sprains, particularly lateral sprains, do the anterior drawer test. Stabilizing the lower leg with one hand, put your other hand under the foot and cup the heel. Then pull the heel anteriorly. If the ligaments are intact, there should be no laxity with anterior stress. To check for tears of the Achilles tendon, do the Thompson test. With the patient prone, squeeze the calf muscles. Absence of the normal passive plantar flexion with this maneuver suggests a complete or functionally significant tear.